Hey guys, welcome to a new studio. And yes, I'm back with another great exciting tutorial. And if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's jump into the tutorial. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's create a work composition. For that go to file, click on new and for now I'll just create a letter size. So select this one and click on create. After that let's drag and drop these images over here. And for now I'll just turn off the visibility for both layers and go to shape layer. And I'll just go for this shape and change the color to yellow. Let's make a shape, something like this. All right, go to edit, free transform. Let's make it a little smaller. This size. All right. Now let's turn on the visibility for layer one. There too. Let's select both layers and let's move them a little on this side. Alright. Now select on layer 2 and click on layer max. And same thing, select on layer 1 and click on layer max. Now let's move that layer 2 a little on this side. And this one will go over here. Alright. Now control and click on shape layer and make a selection and let's inverse the selection. So for that click on control shift I to make the inverse selection and go to layer 2 and click on the layer max and go to brush and make sure the color is black and let's get rid of this part. Alright and the same thing select on layer max for layer 1. And let's get rid of this part. Alright. Now control D for the select. And now let's fill the background color with some dark color. Something like this color. Alright. Now let's select on layer 1 and let's do some color adjustment. So select on layer 1. Go to filter camera raw filter let's increase the clarity increase the shadow decrease the highlights and go to hue and saturation go on saturation and just drop down the saturation for red orange and yellow Let's increase the surface a little bit and do a mix reduction a little bit. Maybe increase exposure a little bit. Something like this. Alright. Now let's do the same thing for this layer one. So select on oh, this layer two. So select on layer two. Go to filter, camera raw filter. And same thing, increase exposure a little bit. Drop down the highlights, increase the shadows, increase the clarity, go to your end saturation now, drop down the saturation for red, orange and yellow. Let me just crank up a little bit. Maybe something like this. And go to detail tab and increase the noise reduction a little bit. And increase the surfing too. Alright. Now let's select the shape layer and click on layer max and go to brush and this time I'm going to use my favorite particle brush. Select this one and 
Let's quickly let's add some texture over here. Let's create a new layer and let's change the color to white and go back to brush again and using the same brush just add some particles. Now let's create a one more layer and using the same brush let's make the brush bigger. Let's drop down the opacity, maybe something like this. Alright, now let's create a new layer again and go back to brush and this time I'm just using a general brush. Let's change the color to something like this yellow. Now let's add a crack texture. So for that, create a new layer and go to brush. I'm going to use this crack brush pack and if you want to download the same brush pack, check on the description list below. So I'll just go for something like this brush. And let's change the color to something like this dark. Change the color to a little more darker. Maybe somewhere over here. And let's create one more over here. Now let's create one more layer and let's change the brush to something like this one. Let's make it look way bigger. And let's drop down the opacity to something like this. Alright, now let's add some text. Then 
let's scruff a little bit. Alright, that's the final and hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video.